Hi, Dwayne Lesner here with another Nutanix clusters video on Azure. Today we're taking a look at providing internet access for clients to your virtual machines running on the cluster. That could be a web server. So you've deployed your cluster, you've migrated some workloads. Uh, maybe some of those workloads were sitting in a DMZ. So now what we want to do is show how you can deploy a load balancer in Azure and how the traffic will flow through the Flow Gateway VM and hitting your virtual machine running on Nutanix. Let's go take a look. This is an overview of our Azure environment. Uh, down below, we have our Azure cluster, which we've already created a Nutanix VPC, where we have this web server running. We have me just, you know, enjoying the internet sitting out here. Uh, this destination is the public IP of our load balancer, which is then using a backend pool, which really just has one IP address. That IP address is our floating IP. The Flow Gateway VM, which we've talked about in previous videos, which you can check out on Nutanix University, um, goes through the Flow Gateway VM. It has an internal and an external NIC. The external NIC uh, is this subnet range and so it's going to redirect the traffic uh, to this flow gateway vm um, it will come down here with the floating ip it'll get its destination changed um, to the proper ip of the web server and we will see our web page let's take a look at this from the um, prism central that's deployed in azure Already logged into our Azure Prism Central. We will go take a look at our Nutanix uh, VPC. So in our VPC, we have the internal one, which is pre-created. I'd say this is the, the tier one of our multi-level uh, VPCs. And then we've created these two um, VPCs. So we're focused on this test drive DR. The test drive DR has our subnet where our web server is sitting. It's sitting in this uh, W2 server. So if we go check out our virtual machine, which is this uh, aptly named Azure Web Farm, we see its private address. And then if we hit update, update, we can see that it'll have a configured um, public IP, which is the floating IP. Um, so it's already been assigned. And if we go back into the floating IPs, by default, we do assign 50 floating IPs. Um, so, uh, and they come, you can request them at five uh, IP chunks. So here is our assigned uh, virtual IP. Now, the only thing that we need to still check out is the Azure side, the floating gateway VM. Um, it has a network security group assigned to it. So you do have to poke a hole in, uh, in order for this to work. And we'll also check out the application gateway that we have running. So let's go there. Here we have our already deployed load balancer, um, aptly named PME LB web. Uh, we, we see the public IP address, so we can just click on that. And here uh, we can see a little bit of activity already. Um, and so on the configuration side, really, you'll deploy it. It'll request that you give it a public IP um, assigned and created. And then the other real one is just the, the backend pool. You create a pool. Uh, we only have one target in it, which is our um, IP address. You can assign virtual machines. I've done it via IP. And so that's our floating IP that we've uh, assigned. And then from there, you can you can set up listeners for you know port 80 and then redirect it through just a basic load balancer. And then on the actual flow gateway VM, which we have deployed, we've already punched a hole. So here we're already on the flow gateway VM. We have the external and the internal NIC. The external NIC is where you want to punch the hole in. And here we are listing our floating IP, allowing port 80 through. So um, now the only thing left that we need to check out, and I guess, you know, to make sure that we're not uh, pulling the wool over anybody's eyes, first we'll open it in our Prism Central. So we'll flop back there. 
So if we go back to our virtual machine, launch console, So here's our local host. We can see that we got the Golden Girls and a Beatles quote. Now, if we go and hit that from our web server address that we've had listed, so there you go. Here's our web server uh, clients out on the internet now have the ability to access this VM. Uh, directly, which is running in our Nutanix BPC uh, on NC2. Now that our users can get to our Golden Girls web server, we are done our work for today. Please check out the Nutanix University channel for other NC2 on Azure videos, and I will see you in the next video.